हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू योर चैनल टेक्निकल साहिल टूडेज वीडियो इज द फोर्टीन इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट इन विच वी आर लर्निंग डैट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ फुली ऑटोमेटेड वेबसाइट फॉर सेलिंग बोथ डोमेन एंड वेब होस्टिंग सो फार वी हैव सीन टू एड प्रोडक्ट एंड सर्विसेज लाइक डोमेन्स शेयर होस्टिंग वर्ड प्लेस होस्टिंग क्लाउड होस्टिंग टू आर कैटेलॉग बट वी कुड डू ऑल ऑफ दीज इवन विथ रिसेलर होस्टिंग अंटिल नाउ एवरीथिंग वी हैव सीन इट डिड नॉट रिक्वायर अस टू get a server install c panel on it and build it in such a way like we did but from now the products and services we are about to offer to our customers was not possible while having reseller hosting and that's the main reason we need to get a vps along with a c panel or whm license and install on it to our server there are three hero categories in any web hosting business and out of those three two are very important and less competitive those categories are reseller hosting master reseller hosting and alpha reseller hosting reseller hosting is quite common these days but it still can be very beneficial for any web hosting startup on the other hand the market for master reseller and alpha reseller is currently quite small maybe it might grow after this course but yes currently very few providers offer these two reseller categories we will definitely discuss these three categories in brief in their separate videos but the things we did so far it won't be enough to sell these three types of web hosting we need to buy and install another license which is known as whm reseller whm reseller is a plugin for whm which provides an environment for setting up multi level accounts packages with automatic provisions first we'll buy whm reseller from the same website and it's my choice but from where you want to buy it's totally up to you i only recommend about what i use and what i know better because if you face any kind of issues during any installation or setup i am very sure 101% sure before contacting the provider support you will first comment on my video and if i have never heard about a platform that you have mentioned how can i guide you properly so that's why i only give a piece of advice please don't misunderstand my advice as being a self serving yes the links in the description are my affiliate links but if you buy something using those links i earn some commission but bad platforms often offer more commissions than good ones so it's also not about just uh, recommending any platform just for the commissions my actual goal is to guide you the right product or platform which mostly i use and trust and whatever i earn from that right guidance is actually my income which makes me happy anyways you will find this license under store and plugin license then we need to click on this order now it's asking us to choose a billing cycle i am going with monthly and it will ask us for our server ip so we need to provide the correct server ip in this input field and click continue friends let me show you quickly something in whm panel right now i hope those of you following this tutorial series from the start have already seen it but it's a small thing and since we have not discussed such thing in detail so sometimes one might miss it in the packages section you can see there is no such options for selecting how many c panels and whm accounts we can offer to our customer in each plan currently there is no such options there it's only asking for the plan specifications like resources we want to dedicate to a specific plan so we did not get any option like how many c panels how many whm accounts we need to provide in this plan now let's go back to the license website and click check out i already have an account if you does not have an account you can create one 
I was already logged in doing some work that's why it's showing me that my account has been logged in and the commission I was talking about uh, is this one I earned some money uh, from your license purchase and I am applying this uh, 2.35 US dollars from my credit balance uh, to order this and no further payment will be due so I you can read the terms of service if you want before accepting it but I checked it uh, I have read and agreed to the terms of service and I'll click complete order so now I simply need to click continue to client area and here it's showing me three services three active services and when I click so you can see now I am also getting this WHM reseller service if I click. So I am getting this uh, information like license active IP the same server IP and expiry date before I was selecting. Uh, I have selected their uh, monthly term that's why it's showing me the expiry date of uh, just after a month. Now below this I get some commands basically two commands which I need to run in my terminal login as root to the same server which has this IP and the WHM resell and the WHM reseller will get installed so let me first copy this command and here we need to search terminal it's the same thing we use in a putty so I hope you know this fact that the same commands we can run from this terminal which we run in the putty if we right click and paste and press enter now we need to copy the second command and paste it here and press enter again we need to press enter now it might take some time to install till then we have to wait patiently so the installation is complete now if we again go to the package page click add a package then you can see a package extensions and if we check this so we'll get the three options right now it's disabled by default if we click this whm reseller then it's asking for us a maximum number of cPanel accounts, overselling bandwidth and reseller account list and master reseller it's asking for cPanel and WHM accounts and if we select this radio button which is alpha reseller then again it's asking for cPanel, WHN and WHM as well as master reseller accounts. So that's the difference and that's the reason for getting our WHM reseller Various licenses are important for a server maintenance and security perspective. For, in, for example, this Immunify is a security plugin for WHM which we will cover in a separate video and I highly recommend you to install this. There are many others like Jet Backup is crucial for client data backups 
Similarly, licenses like Lightspeed and Cloud Linux are important considering website speed and server optimization. And if you wish to build a server with Plesk and sell Plesk hosting on your website, just like some providers do. So you will find a video on how to install Plesk on either my channel or in the description of this video. And installing a Plesk license is just uh, like installing a cPanel license, just like we did with WHM reseller. Simply log in as root, run the provided commands. Any errors related to those licenses or replacements are automatically fixed. We saw as an example of this when we had we had to stop the video, the third or fourth video, I guess, due to an error while installing cPanel just because we could not get a free trial. But in the very next video, as soon as we bought the cPanel license and ran those commands provided by this provider, all those errors were automatically fixed. So it's pretty easy process. But anyways, for now we have installed this license and in the next three videos we'll see how to create and sell packages for all these three types of reseller hosting but for now that's it for today's video and thank you for watching and staying it till the end